Hello. Hello, Mike. It's me. Were you asleep? Yeah. <laughs> First night without insomnia in a month. I'm glad you called. <clears throat> Listen, I better say this straight out, even though it'll probably cost me my job. I found your print at that motel. I was there, Mike, but I didn't kill her. Look, why don't you meet me at the station first thing in the morning? No. Be at the old college theater at 10. Why? I'm going to hand over Francesca Lavin's killer. Damn it, Charlie. This is not some murder game you're playing here. A student is dead. Be there. suspects in the strangulation death of Miss Lavin, 20. Late yesterday, large numbers of concerned parents arrived at the school, fearful for their children's safety. College administrators are urging both parents and students to remain calm. Police have told them that the crime does not appear to be the work of a serial killer. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Professor. Thank you. Huh? Mary, I need those copies by 3 o'clock. They'll be there. Great. I heard a very interesting story about Assistant Professor Stade. Is anything wrong? No, nothing. Is anybody here? I don't know who you are. I got your note. Breaking into school property is a major offense. And guilty parties are usually suspended. But perhaps we can uh, talk about it. Pretend like it never happened. Oh, it's you. What are you doing here?
sorry. Uh, thank you very much for uh, waiting. Uh, uh, <clears throat> today I, uh, I want to talk about one of the most dynamic elements of any good thriller. Uh, <laughs> chase scene. Um, um, imagine our hero as a fugitive from justice, hotly pursued by the forces of law and order for a crime he didn't commit. He finds himself trapped on the upper floor of a building with no obvious means of escape, and he needs your help. Any ideas? Yes. Maybe he could shoot his way out. No weapons. He could jump out the window. Too high. What if he just walks out? Join this area and make sure the North Gate field. Got him. Right. Lattimore's locked himself in his office. We got him surrounded. Charlie, come on, Charlie, open the door. There's nowhere you can go. Okay, fine. Well. Charlie. <laughs> I can't believe you guys fell for it. Let's go. Want to take a look? Oh, come on. Don't you have anything better to do? Does she belong to you? It's my brother's. Do you mind? Okay. Move along. Your trunk is open. Thank you. 